police minister continues to walk about in downtown in Blue Fontaine where he continues to engage with the community. Right now we are at the taxi rank where he continues to speak with uh, taxi drivers and commuters, uh, of course, uh, trying to communicate with them to try and uh, follow or rather comply with uh, COVID-19 protocols. We'll just try to move uh, and get closer because the traffic here is really uh, too much, but we are moving closer. He continues to engage with the commuters. Okay, that's Ray. We are continuing to move along. Uh, where Police Minister Bekita like, continues to speak to uh, the community. He continues to move. <laughs> ah, wait, wait, wait. He is now communicating with uh, the taxi driver in Majaka Tata Chicks, taxi rank in Blue Fontaine. Your mask, keep everybody with mask. That's a, that's a thing we're supposed to do to allow your business to continue. Where's your sanitizer? I have oh. another one at the back. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah, sanitize them when they enter. He's checking if the taxi uh, is cooperating with the COVID-19 protocols. After they've collected the band, I give them the sanitizer. That's a good one. Thank you. Keep your mask on, eh? <laughs> police minister up to police minister up to so far you have been working around in in Bloemfontein are you satisfied with the compliance well uh, moving around here unfortunately I can let person stop the noise the, the, can the person stop the noise? Huh? You know, the standard, the problem, the standard I have here is the free state standard when we went to Putachi Chaba. The people there were excellent. We moved around town not once. We said people must put their mask at the rank. Here is a lot of shouting. Even those that do have masks, they don't put the mask where they're supposed to be. So the compliance here will be much less than what we saw in Puta Chishaba in October. So it's a call. They need to be there because the thing has started afresh again. The situation is serious. The numbers are high. The death is high. And I'm told that is a more resistant kind of, uh, of, 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 of uh, a virus than before. So it's important that people, they remember that. But we are, there, we are here for two things, as you know. Crime prevention, 
which was planned by us long before the COVID comes back. I'm glad that uh, we have found some few uh, illegal, illegal uh, uh, nationals that have been found, but police here, they found some drugs as they do they are stop and search and seven people have been arrested so it's a both the compliance but also crime prevention minister Taylor, with regard to uh, compliance that you are enforcing uh, in october you came down here in senegal where you had a meeting with the farmers and you the, there is a committee that is formed there to issue out uh, 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 problems that are there how is the progress going in that regard well you go and ask the farmers how happy they are uh, we are working very well with the farmers, uh, the things are progressing, there are things that we have worked on, we have been looking at the progress, the investigations of the people that the, the farmers made the claim that our own people are involved in crime situation, we are looking at that, we are making some progress on that, but we are also going to work on the value chain of the stolen stock, where does the meat go, who gets the money out of it. So, but also we have requested everybody to work on the relationships of the farmers and the farm workers and the communities there. We think that that kind of engagement with the farmers have created a much better conditions. Now, Minister, what would be your message to businesses? I heard you earlier on talking about that Blue Fontaine is one of the, the inland areas that uh, have many infections. Well, at the present moment, we are sure that we have a serious problem with the coastal uh, cities. Uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, we had 9,100. The day before yesterday, of that, we had 10,000. Western Cape leads, Eastern Cape comes after KZN, but inland province of Free State leads in terms of the new infections. So people, they need to behave and make sure that they follow all the protocols, starting from cleaning their hands and also social distancing. But more than anything, we all know these masks irritate, but you are only get irritated because you are alive. If you die, you won't get irritated. But don't die, another problem, don't die alone. You die with us, you die with everybody next to you. As you meet any and all other people, Please, what we have at the present moment is a mask and we don't have vaccine for now. Thank you very much. That is uh, Police Minister Becky Taylor continuing with uh, the walkabout at uh, the Bluefontaine taxi rank, of course, saying that up to so far he has seen that people are complying, but he did uh, mention that some do have their mask, but they are not putting their masks, their masks rather properly. So this is what is happening currently. And he did mention, of course, uh, that uh, the problem areas up to so far, they say, uh, is the coastal areas, your Western Cape, KZN, yeah, Eastern Cape. But he says when it comes to inland areas, uh, the problem area is Mangawung, uh, Blue Fontaine. As I have mentioned earlier on in our conversations, uh, that this is the area that is giving the Department of Health in the Free State the problem because many infections are coming from uh, this, this, this area. The minister continues with his walk about uh, getting into the taxi rank, of course, and continues to communicate with uh, the commuters here at the Blue Fontaine taxi rank. Minister of Police, General Peggy Kele, only Chakati Tatin Lakajen. He's communicating with, with residents. Thank you.
Let me take you to some of the uh, commu commuters here taking their journey. Uh, how are you? How are you feeling that you are taking the journey? We know that the, the, in the infections they are saying are increasing now. I'm feeling scared a little bit. I'm worried about my safety, what's going to happen to me. I'm worried about the disease. Um, some people are dying and I'm scared what's going to happen. Where are you going to? I'm going to Bethlehem. Up to so far, are you satisfied with what we are seeing, the compliance at the taxi rank? Um, it's packed here. I don't even know what's happening. It's not safe. I'm, I'm scared. I don't know what's going to happen. But I'm, I'm glad the minister's here, so things are going, are going accordingly, so... Uh, okay, thank you very much. Yes. Have a safe trip. We continue to speak to some of the commuters. May, how are you feeling? Is the compliance uh, good for you here? Yes, me. It's, it's good for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are you moving to? I'm moving to Johannesburg. To Johannesburg. How are you feeling about the visit of the, the police minister, Bekitra Ele? Uh, I'm feeling good because he's coming to protect the situation in the way is is it. Mm -hmm. When how are you feeling? Are you satisfied with the with the compliance at the taxi rank? Ah, uh, I'm not satisfied because I uh, don't social distance. But social distance in over one of my So about let him know level one. Where are you moving to? To Johannesburg. To Johannesburg. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that is some of the commuter saying th to us that he is not happy with uh, the compliers at this area because he's saying people started uh, complying when they see police coming uh, with uh, the police and minister. This is what is happening currently. We are at the Bluefontein taxi rank and police minister continues, of course, to engage with uh, residents about the compliance of uh, the COVID-19. Uh, how are you? COVID-19? Some of them are very mask. Thank you very much. That is another commuter saying that um, she is happy even though uh, she sees that some people are complying with the COVID-19 uh, protocols, but some do not. Uh, we continue to move, of course, uh, to try and uh, track uh, the police minister, Vekikale, as he continues to engage with the community. You can see a number of people are taking their journey to different destinations here, and we can see see some inside of the taxi uh, really wearing their mask uh, we continue to move around and see where the police minister is heading to currently <laughs> This is the blue. This is the blue fountain uh, taxi rank. Of course, uh, the police minister Begitale, he is expected to move from here to go to the malls, where he will be continuing to engage with uh, the community. Uh, he did mention that he is rather happy with others and not happy with others because some are complying, but some seems to not be complying. But he did mention again that about seven people have been arrested up to so far. Uh, as you can see, uh, the police minister is now about to take uh, his journey to uh, the mall as he seems to be done with, with the taxi rank. With that, is back to the studio.